Buffalo Fanatics, what's going on? DM3 here. Daily topic. Today we are going to talk about Derek Anderson's retirement. Now, as you guys know, Derek Anderson signed last year, mid-season, was on retirement, was doing homework with his kids, was golfing, was on the beach, then all of a sudden the Bills threw him in at starting quarterback. Um, didn't play too bad, but didn't play that great either. Um, biggest thing that everyone's talking about is how is this going to affect Josh Allen's progression going forward. So I'm going to give you my thoughts. I want you guys to drop your thoughts in the comments. Um, I'm going to read through them. You go, you know, and give me some insights on what you think that this is going to do to the potential 2019 Bill season with Josh Allen taking that sophomore leap, or is this going to kind of hinder his performance this year? So everybody's talking about the fact that. Um, Josh Allen's performance dramatically changed the second half of the season when Derek Anderson was there. So I do agree with that. I do think that watching Derek Anderson play while Josh Allen was nursing that elbow injury helped his progression the second half of the season. You know, he was able to pick the brain of a veteran quarterback. He was actually able to watch how um, Derek Anderson prepared for games, how he watched film, um, how he studied plays on the sidelines, all that stuff. So with that being said, you can't take away the fact that Matt Barkley has been somewhat also of a mentor to Josh Allen. Um, the two are inseparable. Um, off season, you see these guys out everywhere. Um, they were out in California. You know, they're out training together. They're out eating dinner together. They're doing this, they're doing that. Charity stuff, this, that, and the third. So I think that that played into um, Derek Anderson saying, look, I've been in the league long enough, you know, I've, I've been on five different teams, um, I don't see myself being a starter at any point in my career, I do like the mentoring role, but I think it's time for me to hang him up, I want to spend some time at home. Let me know what you guys think about that, drop your thoughts in the comments, um, I'll get through those and, you know, we can kind of go back and forth and you can give me your ideas on, on that. Um, I think one of the key factors also that is not being spoken about as much is the hiring of Ken Dorsey. Um, Ken Dorsey was extremely instrumental in Cam Newton's progression. He had the MVP season while Ken Dorsey was there, but then Cam kind of dipped off and Dorsey was ultimately let go. Um, Dorsey stepped away from football for a little bit, became um, somewhat of a scout uh, for Florida Atlantic. You know, he went on, did that for a little while, and then the Bills uh, interviewed him last year for the offensive coordinator position, passed him up for Brian Dable. So now you have Ken Dorsey in that quarterback room, which it's going to be kind of interesting to see if the Bills are going to go with two quarterbacks. You know, they got Tyree Jackson in there. They're going to, I'm kind of curious to see if they're going to grab somebody else um, for competition for that third string or if they're going to roll with two quarterbacks like they did last season up until they got Barkley and Anderson. Um, and I think that being last year finally realized that having the two veteran presence um, helped Josh Allen see the game from different perspectives. You know, Barkley, serviceable, very serviceable uh, backup quarterback in the NFL. Uh, he's been in the league a little time, so he's definitely a veteran presence. Seems to have a really good relationship with Josh Allen. Um, and then you had Derek Anderson, who has been primarily a backup quarterback in his career. He started a little bit for Cleveland, but primarily with Carolina was the backup quarterback. So it'll be interesting to see if the Bills are going to roll with Allen, Barkley, and then they're just going to have a competition for the three spot, or they're going to say, hey, we just need two. Um, but I think that having Josh Allen, having Matt Barkley, and then I, I don't see why we would need to keep a third quarterback. Um, if something happens where you know Josh Allen goes down with an injury, then yeah, obviously you have to have somebody. Because I believe if you put Tyree Jackson on the practice squad, I think somebody's going to grab him. Um, somebody's going to take him. He's just too good of a physical specimen to sit on our practice squad. Um, let me know what you guys think. I do think that it is kind of a bigger deal than what everybody's making it out to be with the retirement of Derek Anderson. Um, I think he was highly instrumental in the progression of Josh Allen. It was almost like night and day. It looked like he could see the field better. It looked like he was taking more time to get through his reads. Um, yes, he did run a lot, and yes, he did 
you know, have a chunk of rushing yards the second half of the season. But a lot of that was because of poor offensive line play. But this year we got the weapons for Josh. So hopefully, you know, we'll see that progression again with the help of Ken Dorsey. Um, so let me know what you guys think. Um, more videos to come. I'm DM3, and I'll see you guys on the next one. You know I'm on fire. If you don't know who I be, you better ask somebody.